The Yak-28 was a Soviet swept-wing turbojet aircraft, originally produced as a tactical bomber. It also served in reconnaissance, electronic warfare, interceptor and trainer versions. The versions were known under NATO reporting names Brewer, Brewer E, Firebar and Maestro. When the Yak-28 first was seen by the West in 1961, it was believed to be a fighter rather than an attack aircraft. It was first designated flashlight. When it eventually became clear that the Yak-38 was actually a bomber, the designation was changed to Brewer. The Yak-28 had a large wing, swept at 45 degrees. The tailplane was halfway up the vertical fin. Slats were fitted on the leading edges and slotted flaps were mounted on the trailing edges of the wings. Like the previous Yak-25, the Yak-28's engines were mounted in pods under the wings. Two Tumansky R-11 turbojets were used. The Yak-28 was basically a subsonic aircraft, though Mach 1 sometimes was exceeded at high altitude. In 1966, a Soviet Yak-28 suffered an engine malfunction, and attempted to land in the Soviet zone of Germany. However the pilot lost control of the aircraft, which ended up in the airspace of West Berlin and crashed in Lake Stassen Sea. The crew did not survive. The West managed to salvage the aircraft and retrieve top-secret material from it. The Yak-28 was produced in many different versions. The final production version was the Yak-28P long-range interceptor, which was retired in the early 1980s. However trainer versions and other versions remained in service even after the fall of the Soviet Union. In Belarus it was in service at least until 1992. In total, 1,180 Yak-28s were produced. Music